The JVH competition is LP's longest running uh, school competition. It began in the early 20th century, around 1914, when it was decided back then by JB Hodgkin to run a competition that tested the elocution and ability to speak under pressure of students at Leighton Park at the time. This particular competition had some very special characteristics, notably the heckling. Where a student prepares a controversial topic and presents it in front of the audience members. After about three minutes of presenting their argument, a bell will ring and then everyone in the audience has the opportunity to heckle them and really get to the root of the problem. It's a hybrid between a debating and a public speaking competition. So you want to see how people are engaging with these ideas and how they're engaging with other people's perspective on these ideas as well. It's a range of emotion and skill that it takes a speaker to know how to navigate that situation. Any of our students who end up participating and speaking on that stage gain an enormous amount in terms of their confidence, their ability to defend their position, and perhaps also their willingness to be proved wrong. You have the ability to also deal with topics which might be quite difficult for the audience and to communicate them in a clear way, equally to deal with people having differing views on those as well. It's like an opportunity to, for people to express their thoughts in a free space. It is a, a wonderful way of sharpening the brain. Each year we receive approximately seven to ten applicants who would like to participate and we need to whittle those down to about five who are going to appear on stage on the night. What we do is we ask them to write an essay that expands upon their initial idea and on the strength of their reasoning in their essay we decide who the finalists are going to be. And so I'm particularly going to be looking at how they deliver their speeches, how they've structured them and how they deal with that heckling. Very interested to see how youngsters of today can, can reconcile the technological age in which we live with very old-fashioned but very necessary uh, skills in persuading people face to face. It has to be something where it's clear, where you're clearly able to make a proposition around. It can't be a vague topic, it needs to be precise, something which you can cover in the time as well. My topic for the JVH is that I'm uh, arguing for the criminalisation of music that glorifies gang violence. Why we should abolish marriage. Competitive sport should not be categorised by gender. Britain should install a parenting licence. And I'm arguing for the abolishment of care homes. I think it speaks volumes for, for LP. How thoughtfully these students are engaging with ideas um, or issues relevant to the day. What an amazing evening of erudition and entertainment. The speakers have been absolutely spectacular tonight. They've chosen some amazingly complex topics, but really thrilled us with their interpretation of it. There's something about it that kind of wants me to do it again. Yeah, for some reason I was actually less nervous once I was speaking. When the bell rang, when the heckling ended, I was actively disappointed. I was sad that the heckling ended because I'd been enjoying it so much. So really, really energetic and enthusiastic, but pretty awesome. I really enjoyed it and I embraced the crowd, answering the questions and I'll definitely be back next year to do it again. In terms of, of the, their benefit going forward, yes, it's, it's about their confidence. Uh, absolutely, it's about their growth, but perhaps most meaningfully, it's about the way in which they forge their thoughts and they develop their thinking around key issues. It was um, a life-changing experience for me because it proved that I could speak in public, which given what I now do for a living, um, I'm, I'm at the English bar, um, is jolly handy. It would be terrible to be shy. JBH is important not just for the competitors to test their mettle and confidence, but also for the audience member to somewhat get inspired to see a student able to put a brave foot forward and really put an idea that they truly believe in in front of the entire school, even though they risk being torn to shreds over it. It's a challenge to, that you put forward to your community, but really it's about a challenge you put to yourself. And however much you may say to yourself, oh, I couldn't do that, I couldn't do that, I say, you can. I didn't think I would win, and now that I've done it, it just doesn't kind of feel real. Do it, like honestly, do it. I thought I was terrified in like the hour before the whole thing happened. By the end of it, I was really, really proud of myself that I'd done it. What makes it successful um, cannot just be how many people participate, but it's something about the essence of this competition, the thoughtfulness uh, and their ability to think critically about the world around them. 
We're going to make change makers. This is possibly a space where it starts.